All right, and we are back with what is part five of our live stream series on the Evil Within 2. This is, um, come, I'm kind of doing this preamble specifically for like the, uh, the VOD version, the YouTube version, whatever you want to call it. Um, just got done doing the Resident Evil Village Castle demo, which, um, definitely shorter than the previous one. Uh, you can probably chalk some of that up to I kind of knew what I was doing this time, so. Hey, there, there's that, I guess. Uh, but for now, let's go on our journey. Um, this is the wrong... No, wait, this is the right way. Which means it's not the way we want to go right now. Do I even have a lot of gel? I do, actually. I have a lot of stuff, actually. Uh, so let's go ahead and visit. Did I get any new thingies for my kitty cat is the real question. Uh, yes, I did, actually. It's me, Kidman. Good to know you're still there, Sebastian. I've been a mess for so long. Lost years of my life after Beacon and losing my family. You should have thanked me when I found you instead of waving your gun in my face. Yeah, well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. I was still a little drunk. I kind of appreciate with the new voice actor, they just didn't tell him, just sound like old Sebastian. Like, they kind of let him go in his own little unique direction with it. It's time to make a new future. I like that attitude, Sebastian. Don't let the bastards grind you down. I won't. I'm gonna grind them down. Hell yeah, Sebastian. Fucking grind on them. Get your... Get your fucking booty all up on their shit. Hell yeah. Thanks, kitty. And then, yeah, and then tell them thanks, kitty, as you do it. <laughs> uh, that's my mind for you. Man, I'm really gonna have to just craft um, some sniper rounds, because I am not getting any from the game as is. See what we can do for our weapon upgrades. That needs 800. Ooh, we can upgrade our shotgun. And we can get, um... Duh. Cool. Let's just go ahead and hoard all our stuff for firepower, because that is the way to go. Don't worry, detective. This won't hurt a bit. I doubt that. Um, do I have any keys? Nope. I got jack and crap. Oh, we pretty much max out athleticism. We're pretty good on that. Um, we're not really having any dying issues. I guess I could probably be a little bit sneakier. Not super imperative, though. Um, you know, let's maybe try to save some points for this. That, that could be useful. I doubt I'll probably get it. Because I think... Mm, we're maybe about at the halfway point of the game. Maybe like 40% of the way there. So I don't know if I'll necessarily be able to get those points um, in time for like the conclusion. It's, it's kind of like the, the... I believe it's the most expensive upgrade. But we'll see. Let's hope the marrow is still there. Back to your little matrix connection. Honestly, I just kind of would have preferred a loading screen in between uh, these little sections. And there's a signal um, over there. Weapon parts. What the hell? A uh, condenser. Can be used to graft useful items. Okay. I don't know specifically what for, but I'll take it. 
Oh yeah, we're running dangerously close to surplus issues on the shotgun, so... Let's just go ham with it, I guess. Let's see... Some nice, simple... Little... Puzzle... Oh, it's literally just all of them. <laughs> it's not even a puzzle at that point, it's just... Flip them. Shit. Looks like Theodore's been here. Maybe that's why I couldn't contact O'Neill. Hoffman's safe house is nearby. Oh, got another slide. I should check up on her. Yeah, if if I have not missed a single slide, um, that that's a pretty good indicator that I'm maybe a little bit over the halfway point because that's six out of eleven. So, quick maths on that one. Oh yeah, where's that? Um, oh, is that? Him right here. I literally can't pick up your stuff. I have too much shit. I already went through here, right? Eat. Oh, I can't eat it. I want to eat it, but I can't. Hoffman, you here? Hey, you. Another one of these. What happened here? I don't remember what happens here, actually. Magical tuning in powers. Is that you? How is my communicator getting your signal? Never mind. It doesn't matter. Where are you? What? That's on the other side of the laboratory. It's a restricted area. We were told never to go there. We don't have clearance. How did you? Okay. I understand. Yes, I'll meet you there. Just be careful. <sighs> O'Neill left his safe house to go to a restricted area of the Marrow? That doesn't sound like him. Totally checks out. There's not going to be anything negative that could possibly come out of this plot development in the slightest. That That is a negative 100% pinky promise guarantee right there. What kind of pouch you got for me, buddy? What do we got? Pistol? Shotgun. There we go. Uh, I guess I don't have to deal with that immediate surplus issue. Still pretty close, though, but... It be what it be. <laughs> Stop him! Oh, shit, 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 shit. Come on. Damn it! Punch! <laughs> oh, me, potato aim! There we go. Jesus Christ. I should really upgrade my capacity on this at least. I There's no excuse for me on that one. How does this only carry six bullets anyway? Like, it, it made sense in the last game because it's a freaking revolver, but this is, uh. I don't know what kind of... What does it say with pistol? It just says semi-automatic handgun. That's... No no further elaboration. I gotta hit up that dude that GameSpot's doing videos with. The guy at the... Uh, what is it? The, the... The British Armory Museum? I, I don't remember. Looks like they Good series of videos, though. Alright. Oh, another mirror. Oh, more shotgun shells. It's a good thing I got that pouch, otherwise I would have already had an issue. Gunpowder. Oh, whoops. Don't want to look at it yet. Due to the sensitive nature of the experiments being conducted, the laboratory is only accessible to Mobius operatives with a proper Unity Cerebral's chip de designation. Please observe all security protocols while entering the laboratory and be aware that your clearance level also binds you to top secret non-disclosure tenants as outlined in your enlistment contract. Any operative attempting to access the laboratory without proper clearance will be subject to corporal punishment as outlined in the Mobius security bylaws. Okay. I feel like these give me a decent chance to flex my uh, 
my VO prowesses, whatever little I possess. All right, let's um, let's get some ammo going. These are like stupid cheap upgrades. I should have gotten a while ago. Like this, this stuff is like ridiculously cheap. Increase walking speed while okay. I didn't know that was a thing. Whoa! What am I? Lights turn off on me. Okay, that's odd. One second. Sorry, just one moment. I have no idea why my lights are not working. Okay, hopefully that issue is fixed. I don't know what would have caused that. Just kind of unplug, replug back in. The uh, the tried and true. Okay, and so we did that. So let's just go on back. This is a very white hallway, and we got some blood. As, as as one does in a horror setting. All these tanks. What's this about? All these tanks. It, it is a world of tanks. The, the popular tank simulator, online multiplayer game. Oh, you know what? I think this is leading into one of my favorite sections of this entire game. I think it's a fairly fun level. Yeah, here we are. Just because there's like so much stuff to do around here and you can tackle it in uh, any order you want. Liam's probably up to some shady stuff, dude. Do I have a cerebral chip? You can't pass through without one of those chips. Nope. Got to be one around here somewhere. Let's see, we got a communicator over yonder, I suppose. Okay, so we gotta go check that out at some point. Are you you're gonna get back up for damn sure. I'm just gonna Never mind. You have the red eyes, though. Okay, maybe you're gonna get up at some point. Let's see, we're gonna be sneaky, sneaky. Uh, <laughs> Smash it up against his toes. Damn it! Stomp. There we go. Man, I have potato aim for days right now. This isn't even fair. Nope. Okay, I, I don't know what's going on with my lights right now. That is annoying. Okay, sorry, give me one moment. Gotta love it when there's technical difficulties. But they're both like shutting off at the same time, so. I don't know what your issue is, Light. I don't know what your issue is. 
But we gotta stop it. <laughs> okay. Nails. Oh, another uh, thingy. Oh, it's up above, though. Eat. Red gel. The phenomenon is. is ah. The phenomenon has become more prevalent. We have dedicated the entire laboratory wing of the marrow to studying it. Citizen transformations have become quick, violent, and even more obscene. They are mutating into forms that can't even be considered humanoid. They have lost any semblance of humanity altogether. We have dubbed these affected citizens the Lost. We have determined that the last phase before metamorphosis involves the belief that they are being pursued by some invisible but inescapable force. Once they have succumbed to this force, their transformation begins. STEM is an artificial construct. There are no viruses, bacteria, or contagion here. The lost phenomenon is, therefore, a mental process. We are still in the dark as to how it spreads and to whom it will spread next. Perhaps the trigger was present in the subjects before they entered STEM. Further research is needed. Uh. Oh, uh, okay, came from there. So let's just make sure we get every little nook and cranny for resources. Oh! There we go. You're not fooling me. Apparently there's more, according to this music going on. Okay. Green jelly, or don't pop open at me. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, let's open that. Where, oh where? There you are. Okay, should be able to stealth kill this lady. There we go. <sighs> okay, so there's a little adjoining section here in the middle on this little bridge. Let's check out these other rooms. Handgun bullets. There we go. Oh. Okay, I think there's a continuation. Our worst fears have been realized. The lost phenomenon has spread to Mobius operatives. We had theorized that the transformations were a result of memory overwrites, but no operatives have been overwritten. We were able to quarantine and terminate an affected Mobius operative before he could transform. Perhaps his exposure to so many lost corpses in the pit made him susceptible to whatever is causing this. Perhaps it's merely a coincidence. We are harvesting his Unity Cerebral chip in the hopes that it will provide new data. Removal of intact cerebral chips is possible with the extraction device. It's a relatively simple and automated process. Merely place the subject on the gurney and enter the extraction device's activation code 0128. If they haven't removed this guy's chip yet, I can use it to get through that door and find Hoffman. Okay, 
go. Okay, this guy's around the corner. Yeah, okay, lights. I. <laughs> Jeez, today is just like the night of freaking technical errors left and right. I do not know what the hell is going on. Like, even before I was trying to stream, there's just like countless stuff going wrong with my PC. Okay, maybe I can't use both lights at the same time. Let's keep this one on and see where that gets me, because this is, this is ridiculous at this point. Um, this is probably the best angle we're gonna. Oh damn it! Of course, the second one drops out of nowhere. Um, eat. Stealth kill at least one. Whoops. My bad. Give me your head. There we go. There we go. Got plenty of brain goop. Eat. Oh, and here's that uh, thing you were trying to get before. Our efforts have been in vain. The core escaped less than a day ago. Within hours, we began to receive reports of lost emerging in staggering numbers. They're everywhere now. 20% of Union's populace has succumbed already. And they're actively hunting down and killing whoever is left. It's a nightmare. At this rate, there will be no one left in two weeks. We've lost contact with Mobius. We're trapped in here. With the lost. It's too late to stop now. The entire Union experiment is doomed. We're all doomed. <laughs> I'm sorry. You probably should be. But, we got a pouch out of it, so... We'll, we'll call it even. <laughs> uh, oh, I can carry more, um... Med pouch. Not, we not... Yes, we are technically carrying more med pouches. Because we had zero med pouches, but now we can carry more syringes, uh, which I am happy for, but we haven't had too much of an issue with health uh, thus far, so good on that front, I suppose. See, this is a staircase I didn't use. No, I think I did actually. Did I? Yeah, no, I think I did. What's this guy a uh, Fuse. Okay, maybe I didn't come through here, because this is a lot of stuff I just apparently uh, did not get. Okay, so there's got to be a lab or something down on the first floor I just did not uh, get to, because I have the, yeah, the passcode for that now. Oh, and here's something that I can use my uh, electrical thingy on. Eat. Are these Union citizens? What was Mobius doing with them? That is a lot of chopped up bodies. Ugh. All in all, pretty gross. Oh, is it? It's this, I think. It's lonely in here. And creepy. Dumping these bodies, these things, into this pit. And they just keep coming. How did I end up with this detail? Been hearing things. Voices. 
coming from the pit, but that can't be. But if they aren't coming from the pit and they're in my head, and that's even worse. Oral hallucination is one of the symptoms, but I can't be infected. It's not a virus or bacteria. It's a mental thing that only infect, infects citizens whose memories have been rewritten. At least that's what they told me. Scroll down. Shit. I've got to keep it together. It's just loneliness that's making me think like this. Loneliness and being around these freaky corpses. It's not the phenomenon. Uh, spoiler alert. Yes, it is. Oh. Oh, no. It's coming. I got to get out of here. Yep, it's 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 definitely coming. Let's let's run. Go, Sebastian. Go, 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 go. Get the fuck out. Run. This hallway was not this long before. I don't think it was. Dip. Nope. No. Ah, uh, please no. Okay, shit. That thing again. Oh no. All right, so we got to sneak past this lady while she's not Oh no. Don't continue to walk this way. Walk the other way. There we go. Now we can be friends. By friends, I mean completely ignore the fact that you exist. Oh, god damn it. Okay, I gotta go back the other way. Shoot. Oop. You don't see me. I am very, I am very sneaky. Just please turn around because you're freaky as hell. Bye bye. This really isn't much faster, to be honest. So, gotta sneak past her, but she kind of keeps remixing all the hideable locations, so we just gotta work with what we got. Oh shit. Please drop my stuff. Nope. Shit, not that way. I gotta get closer to her. As so much as I don't. Nope, you don't see me. You literally. Okay, never mind. Oh no. Well, you know what? All things considered, that was infinitely less violent than what could have happened. Such as whenever, uh,. Laura grabs you in the evil within one. Okay, so am I not supposed to try to sneak past her like that? I'm supposed to go like over there, right? Maybe I just came at her like at some weird angle. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay, that's not fair. Okay, so if I even hide behind that thing right in front of her, she'll notice me, so I just need to yeet my way on over. That's okay. I can do that. Oh wait, it, it put me over here. Like, I, I triggered a safe 
uh, like a little checkpoint. Works for me. Shit. She's like glitched in the, not even glitched, she's a ghost. She can just like walk through whatever, but she's still like in the middle of all that crap. Motherfucker. Nope. Dip. You don't, you can't catch me. Why is it after me? What does it have to do with this place? Anything around here? Oh! Something. File. Let's see. Torn psychological evaluation reports. The bottom half. Uh, I believe we had the top half earlier. To be kept on duty and observed. The information gained from his experience in STEM could be invaluable for the organization. It has been posited that STEM immersion can have long-lasting residual effects. Detective Castellanos is unique in that he has entered and left STEM without standard preparation or memory overrides. We can learn a lot about the mental repercussions of STEM use simply by letting him go about his business while we observe from a distance. I will continue to track Detective Castellanos' mental state via our mandated therapy sessions and will report any findings to the organization on a weekly basis. So yeah, even... Mobius were using me as their guinea pig. Long-lasting residual effects. They knew Stem would scar me like this. Yep, and even your therapist was in on it, dude. That sucks. What a betrayal. <laughs> Everything in this world is apparently run by freaking Mobius. Uh, both of these doors are locked, apparently. That is not good. Respirator model. Where, wait, where can I go? Both of those are locked. There's no other doors. Um, did I, did I mess up? Am I, do I have a smooth brain? Is that what's going on? <laughs> or is there like another door I'm just not seeing? Shit. If not, I guess I'll have to like reload the checkpoint because I don't remember getting stuck in a room like this. Man, I'm really not seeing what I'm. Th oh, another paper. A letter from police chief. Jim here. Just a quick note to give you an update on the Castellanos slash Beacon situation. We're sending Sebastian in for mandatory counseling. The Beacon incident needs to be kept under wraps and the good detective is our only loose end. We have many operatives in KCPD, but not enough to ensure total information blackout. Fortunately, our staff psychologist is on the organization's payroll. Once we determine how much Cassianos knows, we can easily instill self-doubt through these sessions. When we're through with him, Sebastian won't be sure if what he witnessed at Beacon was real. Not that he needs much help. He's been stumbling through his assignments like a zombie. Poor son of a bitch is obviously having trouble dealing with whatever happened to him in there. I almost feel bad for him. I've known the guy for over a decade. It's like he's a different person now. But that's the price of progress. If you want to make an omelet, you gotta break an egg or two. James Van Kirk, KCPD. Kidman was right. They are everywhere. They were right under my nose the entire time. Yep. A way out? Yarp, one might say. Oh, what the? That's all stuff from the first game right there. Playing out on the walls. this 
can't move on. Can't move. <laughs> of my pain is me the part of me still stuck in stem never getting out no i'm wrong i will get out but without you yeah killing a physical manifestation of your fears is the way to move forward my man what was that it felt different than the others more real Something changed. I feel good. This metaphor is very literal. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a long time. Yeah. Got the revolver from the first game. Let's see, we got another photograph. I wonder what the actual differences between this are. Like this is obviously silence. This has a different reticule, but what's what's going on with the revolver? Just more powerful? I don't know. It's going to eat that. Wait, am I even in this? Okay, yeah, I am in the same spot. Okay. So let's just go back. That is a lot of dead people. Let's see, we already went over here. Um, I didn't get the cerebral chip. Um, that's got to be in one of these uh, operating rooms. Cause we know the the code. It well, I knew the code. It was um. Shit, how do we get over here? Police chief, computer file. Um. That's not it. Zero one two eight. That's the uh, password code. Question is, where do I do? I, for some reason, I remember like this big, like little operation room, but I guess I'm just not seeing it. Am I missing something like stupid obvious? I must be. Ugh. Because, I don't know, every, every time I've played through this particular section, like, as I stated, I really like this section. I think it's a fun little level. Um, yeah, for the life of me, I can't remember where the frick I'm supposed to go. You know what? One second. Yeah, sorry about that. It is stupid fucking hot in my room. It's summer. It's... It's, it's the California life. And since it's not a podcast day, I don't necessarily care as much about the... Uh, what's the word? I don't care about the background noise as much for the audio, even though you're not necessarily hearing much, because I put a lot of work into my filters. So you won't hear it if I'm not talking, and even then, you probably won't hear it at all. So, there's that... Where is this stupid, uh, operating room at? Number three over here. Are you the answer? Lab three. Zero, one, two, eight. That is the passcode. Oh. I think so. What do we have here? Just gotta tell the computer a passcode and we should be good. 
Oh, can we not interact with a computer? Yeah, it even has the uh, password right there, I guess. Oh six oh two. The hell? Wait, where is that at? Okay, let's do zero one two eight first. Okay, let's see what happens. I mean, this dude's already dead, so I don't necessarily feel a lot of remorse for doing this. Still pretty gross, all things considered. There's literally nothing on the end of that. But apparently, we got his Unity Cerebral chip. Oh, thank God he's already dead. I gotta get out of this lab. Let's see, there's some other. Oh, that's not good. Uh, let's see, there's zero one two eight, uh, fifty six seventy three. I want to see what that. Damn it! Can't even use it anymore. Probably should have done that beforehand. But people are knocking stuff over. I think they're all on the. F First floor, so Let's just mentally prepare my. Oh, there you go. Oh, God damn it, it's one of those things. Um. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not be creepy. One. Two. There we go. Dead already. Get that Jill. Where are the rest of these, uh. One. Two. There we go. Oh shit. So you're gonna distract him a little bit. Get a stealth kill. Maybe two? Nope. Oh shit. Come on, come on, come on. One more. Shit, okay, two more. And I'm literally out of pistol ammo now. So that is something. Let's get our revolver out. Because we have like four different pistols, so might as well use them. And let's see if we can get through here. Unity Cerebral Chip Detective. Entry authorized. About time. Hope I can still catch up with Hoffman and O'Neill. Eat it over. Shotgun shells. <laughs> Giving us a... Oh. Now I remember. It's being too generous with the ammo. I wonder why I could possibly be doing something like that. <laughs> Oh, this is going to suck. Oh, full on shotgun ammo. Oh, something right here. Pistol ammo. Oh, voices. Who this? Who this though? Liam, don't! 
Liam? What do you mean, Liam? But that's the good guy we met at the beginning. Why is the good guy doing bad guy things? <laughs> is this some sort of betrayal? Ugh, that's pretty gross. Stay out of my way, Sebastian. No. O'Neill, what happened? Theodore showed me the way. I am his now. I helped him hide. And in exchange, he gave me a new life. You turned him against life me? Is a slave. You'll never understand. For that, you'll burn! I mean, I haven't even seen this dude in like 10 hours or so, so I'm not too entirely bummed out by his betrayal, but still rude, all things considered. Nope. So I'm just going to keep playing the... Uh, the peeking around corners game, basically. Overall, easy boss battle if you can manage to just abuse corners where he can't hit you. Shit, yeah, he does have that blocked off. One, two, three. Wait, how's that not registering as a hit? Damn it! I told him. Shit. Okay, we gotta dip. How do I turn uh, those off? I gotta hit the thingy again. Shit! I am out of running juice. Run all you want. You can't get out of here. I don't think that goes all the way over there, to be honest. You must be cleansed. Let's grab those other pistol types. Oh shoot, come on, just pop around the corner, my dude. Shit. Damn it. We have a stupid amount of health, though, so I'm not even tripping. Are you... Oh, he's just stumbling. He's not dead. Ooh. I'm sorry, Mister. I won't. That's it. I'm done playing with you. Okay, now he's serious. He was just joking beforehand, I guess. Um, let's see. What other ammo? Okay, I do have a pistol. I just wasted my shot. Um, damn it. Let's see what else do I, do I have any other? I have my silenced one. Damn it. I mean, you kind of are already, so there's that. Oh, damn it. How did that not get? Oh, damn it. This isn't good. This is not good. This is what some might describe as not good at all. Damn it. Reload. Run, Sebastian. Okay, let's get some harpoons going. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. Just come around the corner. <laughs> Fucking harpooned him in the face and he's still just going at it. Alright. Come on. Come here, buddy. Oh, that is a smoke. Damn it! Man, the hit detection in this fight is god awful. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, jeez, jeez. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. 
<laughs> this curtain will save my life. There we go. He did. Why'd you do it, dude? Why you turn into a bad guy? Thank you, S Sebastian. Uh, finally, free from his Okay, voice. so maybe you didn't necessarily have a choice in all of it. I, I guess. From my fears. I was so scared. You've got to stop him. I can't stop him if I can't find him, O'Neill. He face shifted. He's not here. Not anywhere. There's a machine in the room next door. You've got to destroy it. What machine? The machine he just mentioned, dude. He made me build it. To hide him. Your face is not he looking very it. good, my my guy. I I gotta admit. Let's not let's not butter up the situation into something it isn't. It it look it's looking pretty bad. Yeah. He did. Sorry I shot you in the face, like a lot, but you know what? What happened? You tried to fireball me. How did O'Neill get a lot. into that thing? I don't know. I've been locked in my safe house since you left. When Liam called and asked me to meet him, I was so relieved to hear his voice. But he wasn't Liam. He was that thing. I tried to get through to him, but he heard him. Theodore Wallace did something to What me. is up with her face that is just like out of focus or just doesn't look textured. Well, it looks like super flat. The computer wasn't going to give him up. So what now? Let's take a look at this machine O'Neill was talking about. I think it's on the other side of the room where you found us. Let's go. All right, let's do a uh, quick little sweep of the area to uh, get items and whatnot. Broken flamethrower. Flame we can repair it. We get more parts. Use this, but it's broken. If I found the right parts. Alrighty, let's go ahead and yep, just find whatever stuff we didn't manage to replenish during the heat of battle. The heat of battle, because it was quite a fiery scenario. Uh... Oh, can't really. Stupid fire right there. Pistol ammo. Eat. Um, let's. We'll, we'll do that scan next time. But, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go down the stream now. Um, I'm actually incredibly tired from work today. Um, it's, it's just been a hell of a day. So, uh, thank you everyone for hanging out and watching. Um, next stream will be tomorrow, 6 30 p.m. PST, and that's for the Game Session Podcast. We will have a special guest on. So, um, thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, follow on all the socials and whatnot. I think most people know the drill, but yeah, doing any of those on any and all socials uh, helps infinitely. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.